Hey everyone, Crusade here. First off, happy Easter to anyone who cares. Um, I'm in hell right now. Yep. Fiery old hell. Um, but I'm just talking about... I'm gonna be talking about, uh... I'm gonna be clearing up. That's a better way to put it. Clearing up some stuff on the prices of, you know, Frost arrows, Ice Cubes, Ice Gems, Aurons, ingredients to make the Auron, and the whole, you know, Baru and Baruta thing. Ever since they got reintroduced to the game, obviously, the prices have changed. Now, there's people saying some stuff that I just feel isn't true. Hang on, I gotta go kill this imp as I talk. They're saying things that just aren't true. Um, first of all, people say, no matter how hard you, f you try, Frost will always be 20k. Somebody just said on Global here. And somebody said, anybody who buys Frost more than 30k is an idiot. Uh, that's not really true. First of all, obviously ice cubes are worth more now because they're an ingredient to make the Baru. So there's more demand for the ice cubes. And... Since there are consumables that pre, uh, you know, help make or are needed to make the frost arrows, sorry, I got distracted by the imp there for some reason. Um, they're going to be worth more. Frost arrows are going to be worth more. Why would you spend more on the ingredients and then sell the finished product for less? That just doesn't make sense. Let's bring out our calculator here. People are spending like I don't know, five thousand gold on ice cubes now. They need forty-two of them. Uh, yeah, 210k technically should be, or more than 210k because you also need normal arrows and you need uh, ice gems. Over 210k is what frost arrows are going to be worth. However, obviously they're not that price because there's no demand for frost arrows. There's very little demand because everybody has them. Everybody already got them when they were cheaper. So nobody really wants them right now because almost everybody already has them. That mixed with the combination of how the ice cubes are technically worth more now it's going to make the frost arrows worth a little bit more. Not 210k, obviously, that's just... That, that's too much. I mean, nobody's going to pay that much. But, yeah, you know, they're not going to be just 20k. Well, I sold one for 95k yesterday. I believe that people are going to I'll pay more for them because they want them more because, oh man, they're going to go up, I better buy them fast. And a price is really worth whatever someone's willing to sell it for or willing to pay for it. Cubes 5k each means 42 times 5,000 count your own. Yes, multi shots, you are correct. There's so many hateful people on here. What's their problem? Like, oh, dude, die. Dude, kill yourself. You're wrong. Holy crap. Calm down, idiot. Yeah, frost arrows are worth more now. Um, however, if nobody in the game is willing to pay more and nobody's selling it, and people have to drop their prices in order to sell the frost arrows, then that's the price of the frost arrows. That's how price works for anything. That's that's just how it is. You can't say, well, it's worth 200k because I, me and a couple other people say so. It's worth whatever people are actually. If the whole, if the whole community is willing to pay one thing, that's kind of what it's worth. That's the demand, and supply and demand. Yeah, it's basic economics. Obviously, Aurons, if anything, are going to be worth more than around 80 or 70k, whatever they're worth. They're going to go up or stay the same because they are now a consumable to make the Barus, and all the ingredients to make the Oron, the wings, the claws, and the archery armor, and Tema bags, obviously they're going to go up too because they're consumables to make the Oron. So all that stuff's going to go up. Um, and there's people, if you say on Global and stuff, no, Orons are not worth 80k. They're worth more than that. People are like, dude, die! And somebody told me to die because I said that. Uh, screw you, loser. Um, but yeah, that's... That's how it is. I sold my Oran for 135k, somebody bought it from me for. And then I bought it back from somebody else for 110k, so I made a quick 25k profit right there. And still got to keep my Oran. Um, yeah. And then people tell me to die, telling me like I'm lying or something. Uh, there, see, Orans, you can't just say, no, Orans are still 80k. They just are. Well, that's technically not true if people are willing to pay more than that, or people are willing to aren't willing to sell them for that price and they want to sell them for higher. Therefore, the price of the Oron becomes a higher price because of what people are willing to do with it. That's just how it works. You can't say, well, you know, all these people, nobody is selling it or buying it for 80k. That's always 100k, but, you know, they're still worth 80k. That doesn't even make sense. If everybody's buying it for a higher price, that's what they're worth, idiot. So shut up if you don't know what you're talking about. It's true. 135k, 110k, that's what they're going for. Go, go up to somebody, try to buy it for 80k, they'll say no. And I even said, I'll buy it for 100k, no. Not willing to sell for 100k, hmm. Something's up there. Yeah, and I'm sorry for being such a jerk, but some of you guys on here are jerks. And 
And if you're not being a jerk on here, then I don't mean any of this rude stuff to you. But if you are a jerk, then I do mean this to you. So, yeah. So fire arrows, if anything, are going to go up in price because, you know, they're consumables. There's going to be more demand and there's less supply of the ingredients to make the Orons, which are made to make the Barus, as well as, you know, the ice cubes and ice gems. There's less supply of them and there's going to be more demand. That's why the price will go up. It's just going to happen. Don't listen to people who say it's not going up. Uh, because it depends, you know, what people are willing to pay for it. If somebody's going to buy it for 5,000 gold, it's worth 5,000 gold. If everybody's buying something for 110k around there, it's worth 110k. You can't say, everybody in the game's buying it for 110k, but they're worth 80k. That is incorrect, sir. That is incorrect. So that is all. Hope that clears some stuff up. Yes. Orons and the ingredients to the Orons and Ice Cubes and Ice Gems. Everything the Ice Cubes and Ice Gems make are going to go up in price. Frosters technically are more valuable right now. However, there's less demand for it. Even if the ingredients are worth more to make the frost arrows, because nobody really wants the frost arrows, they're not worth too much more. Technically, they're going to be worth a little more, but again, it's whatever people are willing to sell it and buy for. That's all. Take care. Happy Easter.